Hello and welcome to Ground Control. In this tutorial we're going to be putting a micro FPV system power lead on this XK Edge A430 airplane. Hopefully without doing any damage to it. Uh, the first thing that we're going to have to do is we're going to have to remove the canopy. Now if you can just get a finger underneath the edge of that canopy and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly try to peel this canopy off without damaging the foam and without damaging the canopy. Okay, this is going to be kind of a slow process. So, um, like I said, get your get a finger underneath the edge, one of the corners of this, and then slowly work your way down and peel it up, peel it up, peel it up until you can get it released from the foam. So I'm going to go ahead and work on that. We'll pause it here and then we'll start back up when the canopy is removed. Okay, so that didn't take as long as I thought. I have the canopy removed. It's all in one piece and I didn't do any damage to it. As you can see, they just put, they just put a little bit of, uh, um, it feels like a rubberized glue around the edges of the canopy where it fits flat against the foam so you can see um, you can actually see the antenna through this little hole um, you can see the back end of the let me see you can see the antenna through this little hole and you can see the back of the receiver so the next step that I'm going to take is I'm going to kind of mark off a square I don't want to make it any larger than I have to um, but I'm going to mark off a square and I'm going to cut it out and I'm going to try and cut this at an angle so that once I get my leads attached to the receiver I can glue that back in and and cutting it at an angle will actually have something that that you can press down on when you put that foam piece back in it so let me go ahead and get this marked up and I'll start cutting it out so I'm going to pause it here okay so I wanted to show you the piece that I carved out I've already cut it all the way through and I'm going to remove it here and you can see it's just oh, about half of the width and and then I cut it straight along the side right here where the the, uh, the canopy right there flattens out where it doesn't have much of a curve to it anymore and if you look inside the receiver and let me refocus this so I can get as close as possible yeah that's not gonna work so. about as close as I can get it but there you hopefully you can see there's two little copper pads here one is marked B plus and one is marked B minus those are the pads that we're going to use to attach our power leads it's going to power the micro FPV system for this plane so the next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm not going to have this on camera you can do this but what I'm going to do is I'm going to tin up these pads. I'm going to tin up my wires. I'm going to solder them onto the pads. And then I'm going to put a little bit of uh, liquid electrical tape across the wires and across the uh, pads once I get it soldered together. And then I'll, I'll show you the end result. I am going to solder these with the receiver board right where it is. Um, if you're not comfortable doing tight tight soldering work like that then I would suggest that you go ahead and you cut out this entire flat here this entire piece of the canopy that's underneath the, um, the little plastic bubble the little plastic cover if you I would cut it right across here down to where this blue part meets cut it off all nice and neat and just lift that whole thing out and then you'll be able to remove your receiver board so that you can solder your leads onto those pads outside of the plane if you don't feel comfortable soldering with it already installed in the plane. 
So I'll go ahead and pause it here and uh, get these pads tinned up, get the wires tinned up, get them soldered on there, and then we'll take a look at it. Okay, we're back. I did want to show you that um, the end result of getting these wires soldered on those two little pads, you can see where I actually did melt that foam uh, just a little bit right there, but it's outside the canopy. It's inside the canopy, so that's not going to matter. Um, I now have two two leads on here to power the micro FPV system. What I am going to do is I'm going to cut a little notch in this foam and bring these power leads right up to where the edge of that canopy, uh, right up to the where, where the edge of that canopy is going to be sitting. I'm going to notch this out and bring my power leads up here because uh, in order to maintain the center of gravity on this plane, I'm going to be mounting the micro FPV system right here on this part of the fuselage. So what I will do now is I will go ahead and I will, I will apply some liquid tape to those wires and those pads so I can make sure that nothing gets shorted out and then I'll go ahead and notch this out and uh, when I come back I'll I'll show you exactly where I'm putting these wires before I put the canopy and glue this section back in again so be back in a few okay so I wanted to show you I've got those two wires um, I've, I've got liquid tape on those pads and those wires so there's no chance of shorting those out and then I just cut a little slot out here right up to this blue line to feed these two um, power leads for the micro FPV system. So what I will do is I'll just take that plastic canopy and I'll just put a notch right in the very front of it and that will hold these wires in place and hold them down. But first I will take the piece of foam that I cut out of here and I'll take some foam tack and I'll put that piece of foam back in and then I'll take just a little bit of foam tack on probably the four corners of that black uh, plastic canopy and um, I'll glue that back on and then we'll see what the finished product looks like be back in a few okay so there's our finished product I didn't even have to notch out the canopy um, I was able to glue that in place without having to notch it out so that worked out pretty well so now I have two power leads coming out of the front of the canopy that will provide 5 volts of power to a micro FPV system. Didn't turn out too bad. Um, I put the other uh, piece of foam, I glued the other piece of foam back in that's underneath the canopy here um, that I had to cut out to get to the receiver. Um, cut a little notch up here so I could feed the wires all the way to the front of the canopy and then just glued the canopy back in place. So. Um, there we go. It's ready for a micro FPV system. So uh, look for a video in, in uh, the next couple, three days. I'll, I'll hook up a micro FPV system to it and we'll see what it can do in 3D mode and FPV. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Now you can uh, put a micro FPV system on your little XK Edge A430 and go flying with it via FPV. So please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.